Because you want your foundation to be blending your neck because you don't want your face to your neck to be two different colors. Mm, we don't want that. That's not cute. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Lashine, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get a flawless base routine, skin like makeup. When I mean skin like, people's going to be asking you, girl, what are you wearing? What's your skincare routine? Everybody always asks me those questions. So if you want to see how I create that bomb, flawless base routine, then okay, so keep first watching. thing first, you want to start off with moisturizing your skin. So you want to start off with your skin, um, your skincare routine. I already did that, it's off the camera. So first we're going to go in with our primer and I am going to be using the e.l.f. This is the Niacinamide Power Grip Primer. And what you want to do is you want to just, well, basically I'm just going to put it onto my face. I'm going to look over here on my mirror. And with this primer, you want to make sure that you're rubbing it. You want to start off with rubbing it into your skin first. And then once you got that evenly distributed onto your face, you want to go into pressing it into the skin. Working with this type of primer, any gel-like primer, you want to start off with somewhat rubbing it into the skin. And then you want to go to pressing it in because if you keep rubbing it into the skin, it's going to ball up into like little ball forms and you don't want that. So you want to continue to press it into the skin and focus it on your um, most um, problem zone. My problem zone is my T-zone. That's where I get the most oily at. And how you know when this primer is ready to go, when you see that your face is doing this that's when you know the primer is ready to go and then i'm going to go in with my huda beauty this is the fox filter correct um color corrector and i got this in the shade papaya and what i am going to do is i'm just going to place one dot under my eyes then i'm going to place a dot right here and a dot right there that is all that i'm going to do and what i'm going to do is i'm going to let it sit for a couple of minutes and then i'm going and i'm gonna blend it out okay so now that i let the color corrector sit i'm going to blend it out but i like to blend it out with my fingertips so what i do i just go in and i just blend it out with my fingertips i don't know why i like blending my color corrector out with my fingertips but I feel because it's not going to soak up any product. Because when I feel like when I use a brush or a sponge, it soak up most of my color corrector. So I found using my um, fingertips works best for me. So now I'm going to go in with my foundation. This is the House Lab foundation. And the shade I am in is... Ooh, 450 that is medium deep now this foundation right here is bomb i got it as gratis when i worked at sephora i don't work at sephora no more but when i worked at sephora i was lucky to get this in gratis and when i tell you this foundation right here is bomb like bomb like this will have your skin looking like a filter in person that's how good this foundation is i love it so what i do i just take two pumps one two and then i'll just place one two three four dots on each side and then going down my forehead one one and one i'm going to blend my foundation out with this real techniques brush this is the seamless complexion brush it's the number 241 when i say i love this brush to blend out my foundation i love this i love this brush because look it's going to get and hug into the spots that I needed to hug in at. And it's just perfect. Like, just look how easily that blended on my foundation. And don't mind me, y'all. I'm a little rusty because I haven't been doing YouTube like i you know, been doing before. But I want to get back into doing YouTube. Like, I'll pop in um, here, and, here and there doing, like, some reels. or I'm not reels. I'm sorry. YouTube shorts. But um, I had a long talk with myself, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to start back doing 
YouTube tutorials, makeup tutorials at that. So, um, yeah, so I'm trying to get back into doing um, my YouTube, mostly my makeup tutorials. I'll come here every now and then to post some um, hair tutorials, but I really want to get back into doing my um, makeup tutorial videos, really talking about makeup going into 2024. So I'm just going to blend it out and you always want to make sure you get your neck because you want your foundation to be blending your neck because you don't want your face and your neck to be two different colors. We don't want that. That's not cute. Before I go in with my um, concealer, I like to go with my cream bronzer and my liquid blush. For my cream bronzer, I'm going to be using an Anastasia cream bronzer and this is in the color Hazelnut. And the brush I'm going to be using this little flat top brush right here. And then I'm just going to be focusing it right here. And if you're hearing the screaming in the background, that is my baby. I do have six kids, so it is going to be kind of noisy in my tutorials, but it's okay. It's okay. Then come over here. And I really don't take too much. I just take just a little bit. And for my liquid blush, I'm going to be taking my Juvia's Place brush. It says Barbie Rose. Now, this color right here is so cute. I haven't used it in a while, so that's why I pulled it out today. So, I'm going to place it on the higher parts of my cheekbones right there. And you just need a little dot because this blush is super, super pigmented. Like, super pigmented. So, I'm just going to place it right here. And then I'm just going to take this little brush to blend it out. And this is what I'm talking about when it's pigmented. Like, this is super, super pigmented. And that's why I like doing my blush and my cream bronzer before I do my concealer. Because if it is too much, that concealer will help to diffuse it out. So, yeah. Like, you see how pigmented that is? Like... It's too much, but it's really, really cute. Like, I love it. And for my concealer, I'm going to be using a Huda Beauty. This is going to be the Fox Filter Concealer. And I am in the color Cookie, uh, I'm sorry, Crumble. And this is in the color 7.1 Neutral. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place it one, two, two dots, not too much. Now I have to take some and place it right here, on the side right here. That's all you need. That is all you need. You're still gonna get full glam, but you don't need too much to get full glam. See what I'm saying? I'm just gonna take a pointed brush and then I'm gonna blend it out. For my setting powder, I'm going to be taking my Huda Beauty. This is the Easy Bake setting powder, and then I am in the color Kanafa. And this is my favorite, favorite setting powder. So I'm going to show you a technique that I do, because you see how it's not too brightened from the concealer, because I like my concealer like that. I always choose a concealer shade that's a little bit closer one shade closer to my foundation shade and then i go in with this powder to brighten it up so what i do i'm going to tap in my brush and the powder and then i am going to start packing it now you see how it's starting to lighten up so you just want to pack it so see how that look how I just packed it on. It looked horrible right now, but trust the process. You gotta trust the process. You gotta trust it. You gotta trust it. Okay, so I'm just pressing that into the skin. And then I am going to let that sit for a little bit. So after you let it sit, you just wanna take any brush, fluffy brush that you have, and just wanna dust away. And then I go in with my Sephora. This is the Micro Smooth Powder. This is in the color Deep. What I do, I just 
press the powder into my under eye. So what I just did is called double setting. First, I like to use the setting, the loose setting powder, and then I go on with this powder right here. And then I just take the rest of the powder and just set the rest of my face. I am going to take my Juvia's Place bronzer. This is in the shade Dark. And this is how it looks right here. And the shade that I am going to be taking is going to be this one right here. And I like to mix both of them. And then I'll just bronze my face. And with my bronzer, I'll just press it into the skin. And then I do like to drag it down here, what's ever left on the brush. Then I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place blush, and this is in the shade Volume 3. And this is how it looks right here. I'm going to be using this shade right here. And I'm just going to apply it. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to double set my face too. I like to double set. So I like to go in with a mattifying um, setting spray. This was going to be the Makeup Forever Light Velvet Air setting spray. And then I like to go in with the Dewy Hydrating setting spray. This is going to be the Anastasia Dewy Set Spray. So the reason why I use two setting spray, because you know sometimes when you set it with the, um, a super matte setting spray, sometimes your skin can look super matte, super drying. So that's why I go in with the hydrating one because it's going to give it and it's going to kind of like settle it down a little bit and it's going to give it hydration. What I do is I spray first with the mattifying setting spray. You always want to make sure that everything is dry before you go in with the hydrating setting spray. And now that that first layer is dry, we're going to go in with our Dewy Set Setting Spray by Anastasia. And I'm just going to let that dry. I gotta give me one of those hand handheld fans because this right here is ghetto, but it's gonna get the job done. It's gonna get the job done. So I went ahead and did my lashes off camera. So I'm not gonna leave here without giving y'all a little lip combo. So today's lip combo, I am going to be using. Let me move my mirror out the way. Um, I don't even know which which one I do. The Pencil that I want to use is in my purse, so I'm going to use a different shade. Um, so I just went and got the pencil out of my purse. This is my favorite lip pencil. This is the Rare Beauty, and this is the, hold on, let me get the name, let me get the name. This is the Kind Word Matte Lip Pencil, and this is in the color Strong. So... This is it right here. So that's how it looks right there. Just like a nice brown lip liner. Now this lip liner was out of stock for a long time on Sephora and rarebeauty.com. I thought I was gonna ever get my hands on it because I ran out of my other one. But as soon as it came back in stock, snatched it up. Like this lip pencil is so good. And if you guys have this lip pencil, then y'all know what I'm talking about. My lips. Today we're just going to be using lip gloss and the lip gloss I'm going to be wearing is going to be the Milk Odyssey lip gloss and this is in the shade Quest. This is like a brownish kind of taupeish nudist kind of color. So that's how it looks. 
And this lip oil is so good. So it's gonna place it right here. And it smells good too. And there you have it. That is the finished look. I really hope this foundation base really was helpful to you guys, especially for my beginner girls, because my makeup is mostly about beginner stages because yeah i've been doing makeup for years but i'm still learning new techniques so i'm still in the beginner stage too don't worry i really hope that this makeup tutorial is really helpful for you guys if you guys really did enjoy this video go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you guys will be notified when i upload videos like i said i'm a little bit rusty right now because i haven't really sat down and recorded a makeup tutorial in a long time on youtube like i said i want to get back used to recording on youtube because all 2024 i'm going to be dropping videos for you guys but i want to say thank you to everybody from the bottom of my heart that did take their time out and click on my video that really means a lot to me thank you but um this is going to be a long journey for me but um we're going to take this journey together and I'm going to be dropping more makeup tutorials, foundation, skincare routine, eyeshadow tutorials, everything. And let me know what you guys want to see from me. Drop, drop it down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys want to see. Once again, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Press that bell for notification to be notified when I upload videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.